Hello everyone, it is I, Buck Cherry, mm -hmm. back with another video for you people. This does not look like a mass box, does it? Doesn't look like anything unless you inflate it and blow it up, right? Because it's not, you guessed it. Mm -hmm. But the curse of the Michael Parsons piece is with me and him. It's really funny, we talk back and forth regularly. And uh, he literally lives, like I said, like an hour and a half from me. And he even paid for this to be priority mail or shipped to me. And lo and behold, USPS fucked it up. Um, he paid for the extra money. And uh, it was supposed to be here Wednesday. He shipped it Monday. Tuesday was a holiday. Uh, it never showed up. So um, my post office told me to tell him to go to his post office, which he was going to do anyway, and get a refund. And he got the refund for shipping, which is awesome, because I see here how much he paid to ship it to me. So, that's awesome that he got that back. So, free shipping, fuck you, USPS, you suck. Um, not all of you, but, you know, just with this purchase, I mean, with the purchases, the two purchases with the painting so far with him, like, he literally lives an hour and a half away. It's funny, because this shit, this one ended up in Illinois. And then I guess they realized, oh fuck, you know, they read it, priority mail, you know, etc. So it went from fucking Illinois directly to Linthicum Heights, directly to me. So that's how fast mail can roll. And usually if something's in Linthicum Heights in the morning, it doesn't get to me to the following day. So, you know, that just goes to show that they're, you know, they're just fucking lazy like everybody else if they want to be. It means nothing unless you, you know, even when you put the priority on it. But he got his money back, so... It is what it is. It actually worked out good for him. I'm not upset. I'm sure he's not upset. I just think it's funny with only two transactions. Or, uh, I'm sorry. Has it only been two? I believe so. With the only two transactions that we've had so far, it's been like these pieces have been like just thrown everywhere. It's just like, what the fuck? So, Grandpa's coming next. Be on the lookout for that shit. It's amazing. He's getting it framed up for my little corner right now. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Guys, I worked late tonight. I'm sorry for this late video. Uh, like I said, anytime something cool comes in, I told Mike on the phone when I messaged him, I said, anytime something awesome comes in, my fucking boss keeps me out late. You know, when this was supposed to come in, I got off early. But we'll have another unboxing video tomorrow. Finally, my two skulls from the UK will be here tomorrow. Fuck, man, two weeks. And he shipped those out quick as fuck. Literally two weeks to get that shit from the UK to here. And I'm sure the uh, holiday had something to do with that. I probably would have had it today or yesterday. But no worries. You know, I'm starting to get used to being patient. You know, a lot of the pieces that I purchased, have to, they're not like, you know, I don't always luck out and find something on eBay or in the groups. You know, I have to get this stuff made and it takes time. I told Mike on the way home that it was here. And, uh, I'm sure he was washing it too. I'll have to go ahead and get rid of this box. Let's go trash this box. This last box I kept. So I can get this one out. There we go. Alright, let's put that to the side for now. We'll burn that motherfucker up. I love this guy, man. Fucking cool guy. Right, we headed off, you know. I want to get up there and see him. He lives very close to me. Uh, but, like, he frames all of his work, you know, when he, before he sends it out. Varnishes it. You know, it's just real nice shit. He's an incredible talent. And uh, I'm really glad we crossed paths. Yeah, I already know what it is. I'm sure you guys know what it is. Oh, uh, it's so fucking awesome. Oh, that's amazing. God, look at that shit. Look at that shit. Oh, shit. There it is. It did have a little bit of creases in it um, because the person who framed this piece 
uh, from Michael's, I'm assuming, didn't know what the fuck they were doing. I told him it was not a big deal at all. Once it's hung up on the wall, you cannot see it. You can only see it at certain angles. Like you can see like the little, see how like the crease is right there. That's just because somebody didn't know what the fuck they were doing uh, when they, um, when he took it up there. So that's it. And I, that has nothing, that does not bother me in the slightest. This looks like a fucking photograph. I mean, that's a painting, an oil painting. He varnished it over top of it, see how shiny it is. And it's professionally framed, I'm assuming from Michaels. So, hell yeah, man. Uh, I can't wait to get Grandpa to put with this. Um, just, I love the contrast of colors in this piece. Grandpa is amazing, I'm sure you've seen him. Uh, the, the contrasts in that piece are incredible as well. Uh, this is awesome. I'm really hoping somebody does a chop top bust soon so I can add it to my collection. It's gonna have to be over the top, chop top. It's gonna have to be over the chop top to be in the collection. I don't want just any fucking chop top. Hopefully like Dan Horn or Connor, Connor gets on it and uh, I can snag one of those because uh, I'm diehard Texas Chainsaw, you know, for, for real. I mean, it's definitely my number one series ever uh, if I had to choose one, so. There it is, the frame is really gorgeous. He was trying to get one, it's just real, you know, it's got a nice little border around it, 45s. Hold on, excuse me. <laughs> I just farted. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man. I mean, he's a stand-up dude. I suggest a lot of you guys go check him out uh, if you want great art. He does commissions, anything you want. The guy's just a painting maniac. That's all he does, paints. So I would suggest hitting him up on Facebook. Michael Parsons on Facebook. Uh, just drop him a message. I'm sure he'd love to do anything for you that you might want. He does a lot of stuff still for sale that he already has finished, so there's really no weight on it. Um, he's doing a Sunny for me right now from uh, Amityville Possession. It was a very underrated Amityville. I love that movie. Duh. So, what we got going on here, Mike? Usually he signed his name differently. I, got, I guess he's got, I, got, I don't know if that's like some new, something new he's doing right there. Usually he wrote his whole name out, or he, uh, you know, painted his name out. But there he just put like a little, that's pretty cool, I like that. Once again, there it is, Chop Top from Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. One of my favorite movies of all time. Bill Mosley played a hell of a character right here, guys. Fucking amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, so yeah, now I have to go find fucking room in my room to hang this and, and uh, grandpa as well. So that's going to be challenging since I have no fucking room at all. But if there's a will, there's a way, my friends. So yeah, get ready for another video tomorrow night. Finally have my first skull from the part three. Uh, two Don Post skulls are coming in. One's the red and one is just a glow skull from 2012. Um, I'm gonna be happy with both of those, especially the ones I believe is, is, is rare because it's red and they shut down or whatever, so I'm excited about that. Um, I got the green one. I'm gonna order the green one or buy the green one as well from the gentleman I bought the two other ones off of. So I don't have the green, the red, and you know, a glow from 2012. And then, you know, hopefully one day I can snag an older copy. Really would like to get like a really old witch Rudy's got, you know. I don't think Rudy will let anybody get the real old witches. Good for him, I wouldn't either. But there you go. Bam! You see it? It's varnished, it's gorgeous. It's a hell of a piece. He's trying to look for a frame for Grandpa right now. And uh, yeah, man, check him the fuck out. I mean, this, this shit doesn't get any better than this, man. I mean, it really doesn't. His prices are very fair. And his work is very, very, very good. Uh, he's definitely, I went back in his portfolio of Facebook from where he first started, I guess, to now, and it's just like incredible. You can see the transition and uh, how much, how much uh, more, you know, talented he's gotten through 
painting. I mean, you just practice makes perfect, and he's just get he's just so close. I mean, if the, if not perfect already, I can I, I don't know. I mean, look, man, I'm not like the, to me this is as good as it gets. I don't know how you could get any better. I think it's gorgeous. I love his style. Colors are awesome, just awesome shit, man. And the fact that it's original, not like a picture or a print or something like that. You know, it wouldn't be hanging on my wall if it was just like a print. You know what I mean? Like, I want, I want the real deal shit. So, there it is. I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. Thank you, Michael. It arrived safe and sound. It's nothing wrong with it. So at least I didn't fuck it up. You guys have yourself a great evening. I'm gonna find a place to hang this bad boy and call it a night because I am fucking beat. And uh, we'll be back at you tomorrow with another video, guys. All right, have a good one.